What's going on there folks? Good evening. The Earth Master here on this Thursday evening. A little rainy out here in California. It is March 3rd, 2022, about 6.17 p.m. California time. And the latest quake shows a 2.3 earthquake in the uh, big island of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, latest movement here across the map where we're still seeing quite a bit of activity ramp up uh, around the Caribbean area. Seeing uh, quite a bit of activity really uh, kick up northeast of the Puerto Rico area into the Puerto Rico Trench. You see that swarming of activity up here. Quite a bit of movement kicking up here in the area uh, throughout the last 24 hours. So we're still watching this area for potential larger scale movement uh, in the uh, Caribbean plate area in general. We see movement pretty much all around it and inside of it here. A lot of it deeper activity as well around the uh, Venezuela area, just around the port of Spain it looks like. Had that one from earlier this morning, a 4.2. That one is 120 kilometers deep into that area and also uh, 5.0 this morning as well off the coast of Panama and uh, some movement up here in Mexico as well with that 5.7. Uh, so watching that area pretty closely here. I do want to jump in first right off the bat here with Yellowstone uh, with the continued activity kind of stick uh, sticking around there as uh, far as swarming activity goes. I want to point out this uh, earthquake activity first localized movement over the last few hours. Of course earlier this morning it looks like we did see a little uptick uh, compared to what we're seeing right now but uh, the swarm is still continuing around the Yellowstone area. It uh, looks like uh, just to the southwest of Yellowstone or Lake Yellowstone. Uh, within the last couple hours, uh, that activity is continuing. So uh, still, still, definitely still continuing there, folks. Uh, I do want to show you guys also something else out here in the Yellowstone region. Now, the 5.7 that struck this morning was uh, very visible on these seismograph stations, a 5.7 down in Mexico. Uh, that's going to be this earthquake right here in the blue circle that struck at... Uh, 1440 UTC time. So to verify that activity, we go over here and check out this map. Uh, 14, 1440 is roughly when that 5.7 struck. So we see that earthquake right here uh, showing up pretty, uh, pretty nicely. But there is a localized earthquake down here. Uh, looks like about 2030 or so. Uh, this is not a distant quake, but a more localized earthquake. And I can't figure out exactly where this is coming from. Uh, it did show up strongly across uh, the majority of these stations here but it looks as though maybe it may have been uh to the it's hard it's hard, really hard to decipher exactly where this thing struck at I'm, I'm thinking somewhere along the eastern side of the park uh, is where it uh, may have maybe the epicenter but then again it's also showing up pretty strongly over here now it's not the 5.7 and there was no other localized earthquake activity that big uh, within that time frame. I thought maybe it'd be over here in the Idaho area, but they've only had a couple twos. And activity does not show up, even if they were to have some threes over here, it doesn't show up significantly like like the uh, signature that's kind of popping up there in Yellowstone. So there's an earthquake here, and it's not uh, definitely not being picked up by the USGS. Uh, just got to figure out exactly where it's at. <clears throat> How big it is, it definitely looks like a, it's above uh, possibly a 4 magnitude quake. Even the EMSC not, report, uh, not reporting any earthquake activity in that region. Goodness, somebody's got a voodoo doll on me or something. Kind of choking me out there a little bit. <clears throat> moving on. <laughs> Woo. All right, we'll continue this. Uh, moving on, but uh, kind of figuring... Kind of wondering exactly where this is at, folks. But can I get what I'm seeing there? This this signature right here, very localized earthquake, and uh, it's definitely up there in the size as well. I'm thinking between 3.5 uh, and 4.0. Uh, we'll see if the USGS gets to that or not. It also showed up over here. There's the 5.7. Here's a little bit, a uh, little bit of the signature, but not as distinct. On the east side of as on the east side of the park here, so that's what I'm thinking. Uh, there's pretty a uh, little bit larger earthquake over here that's not being reported by any agency, but definitely showing up on the live seismographs with 100% certainty. Lake Butte right there picking that up as well. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens, right? 
So the swarm continues far as the localized earthquake activity that we know about. The USGS, um, well, we'll go ahead and check and see if they, they are reporting this activity or not. All magnitudes, a uh, little bit, a little bit. They're only listing uh, about five earthquakes or so, up to 1.6 in magnitude over the last 24 hours around the Yellowstone area. Total tally now uh, from the Yellowstone swarms, according to these folks, is about 43 earthquakes. Uh, within the last week of all magnitudes but uh, looking at we're not going to go back and look at all of these uh, graphs but there's definitely you could probably double that number maybe probably closer to more uh, more or less around 100 or so uh, for the tally that I've seen uh, that includes uh, the smaller microquakes as well but uh, yeah, it is what it is they're, they're uh, throwing out that number and uh, we'll go with that for now because they are the agency in charge, right? Uh, let's see, get back out of here. Montana, a little bit of act activity outside of the uh, Helena area. A little 0.8 near Lincoln, Montana. And uh, some movement up here into the Pacific Northwest. This is the most recent map, right? Yep. Uh, just south of Seattle around Tacoma, it looks like. 1.6, 22 kilometers. And a uh, 1.3... Uh, these are some deep earthquakes here into the uh, Pacific Northwest area. Also outside of Victoria at a 1.3 at 16.4 kilometers. Uh, we're going to check out the Tremor map right off the bat. See if they're reporting anything uh, right around the Portland, Oregon area again. And also Southern Oregon uh, down here around Medford. Seeing a pretty good uptick in Tremor. Looking at 104 epicenters of Tremor uh, taking place here today along the Cascadia subduction zone. So... Kind of getting into the re routine here. At least the past three days have shown a little uptick in the uh, tremor activity that's taken place here on the daily uh, uh, daily time frame. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, looks like uh, this one here is from this morning, I believe. 2.7 well off the coast, way earlier this morning into the Gorda Ridges. No further subsequent activity showing up here on the USGS map. And uh, earthquake activity into Northern California, very limited down to uh, roughly around the Ukiah area southward. Of course, the uh, geysers down here kicking up quite the swarm, 68 earthquakes uh, within that area over the last 24 hours, right around the Cobb Mountain area, hydrothermal operations at hand there in the uh, earthquake department. <clears throat> Uh, eastern part of Sierra Nevada, all pretty quiet, uh, even though there's some microquakes showing up here. Not really as active uh, today. San Andreas Fault, pretty much about the same thing. There's a little bit of uh, some microquakes around the slippage or the uh, uh, creeping section. Slippage section, creeping section, pretty much the same thing along the San Andreas Fault. Just two different words, right? Um, and uh, a little bit of activity down south lighting up here within the last hour a couple small microquakes uh, just off the Elsinore fault system and the San Jacinto fault zone salt and sea pretty quiet uh, there's that activity kind of stretching up into the uh, Nevada area with that 3.1 way out there not for sure exactly what's going on out there around the Garden Valley Sand Spring Valley uh, see what we got out there in the satellite view. Uh, hmm, 8.2 kilometers, pretty deep. Looks like maybe there was some type of lake or something at one point in this area. But uh, some type, some type of runoff there from the mountains, maybe I don't know. But uh, definitely a little activity kind of kicking up there today uh, within the last. Uh, 24 hours there in that area of Nevada. Oklahoma and Texas all pretty quiet. And of course, these two little earthquakes here in Tennessee were from this morning. No further subsequent activity kicking up here in the areas of the east part of the states. Uh, but the uh, Puerto Rico, like I mentioned there, is definitely kicking up for sure. Uh, far as, well, 26 earthquakes. But the, uh, the only thing I'm worried about is this migration of quakes up here towards the Puerto Rico Trench and the uh, possibility there of uh, it producing a much larger quake in that region. South America, a little bit of activity up here in the Peru area. This is probably the most recent quake here, 5.1, 165 kilometers deep, all sorts of deep movement around the Caribbean and the South America plate recently. Uh, and a couple smaller quakes, but also deep at that from earlier this morning. 
way down into the Peru Chile Trench. Just check out Hawaii, the Big Island of Hawaii, kind of lighten up today, looking a little bit more active in terms of volcanic and seismic activity. 2.3 just outside of Mauna Kea. Uh, this one, uh, 22.4 kilometers, and also a little activity spread out uh, across the Big Island around Mauna Loa and up here to the north near, near the uh, region here on this uh, northeast side. Just looking at this little activity down here. This isn't really a whole bunch, but two earthquakes here within the last hour. A 2.1 and a 2.3. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that region for sure. Up here in the Alaska region, the uh, areas around, it looks like uh, Davidoff Volcano up there. Seeing uh, quite a bit of movement into the area. Looks like a couple of threes kicking up there as well. Let me see if I can find the uh, Alaska uh, let's see here. volcanoes. Nor I could have swore I had them on uh, bookmark, but maybe not. Let's see if there's anything uh, going on here. The uh, Davidoff volcano still looks like it's out of yellow. Uh, the other, rest of these other ones here are pretty much orange, but uh, most of the activity kind of striking up around the uh, Davidoff Volcano. I don't see any really major further uh, updates on that, but uh, we'll check back on that in a little bit later time. Some of the activity getting up there in the size of magnitude, so we've got to watch that pretty closely there for uh, uh, possible volcanic eruptions with that type of uh, magnitude and the depths there. The rest of the Aleutian chain pretty quiet uh, up around the Alaska region. Um, yeah, some activity, but nothing within the last hour. Most of it kind of stretching up against the mountain range here into the Alaska range just outside of the uh, Denali area. Uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire up against the Philippine Plate. Some movement, but uh, then again, this is from older, a little bit older activity this morning. Haven't seen any further subsequent newer activity. Uh, most of the activity has been... Uh, around the North American continent uh, and the uh, Caribbean South America region all this activity just kind of staying still for the for the moment for the time being uh, one earthquake uh, north of Manila looks like uh, in the Philippines 4.3 deep into the area here 155 kilometers and uh, let's see what else we got a little activity over here around the Java Trench region Kermadec Islands, uh, some movement kicking up here. Let's go ahead and check out GeoNet uh, while we're at it. See what we got here in the GeoNet. Uh, need to need to move these guys up the board here because they're kind of down on my bookmark list. Nothing within the last since about 11 hours ago since that 4.1 struck this morning. Uh, let's check out the all magnitudes here and uh, well, also the deleted events. Shows a little activity. Uh, in the New Zealand area, North and South Island getting in on some uh, lower twos and a couple ones it looks like. No major swarming to take note um, and no major activity aside from that, well we can't really call it major, the 4.1 this morning. Earthquakes Canada, these guys up here to our north, at least to my north here. I uh, see if these guys are getting uh, any activity or not. It's kind of Kind of slow. There we go. Uh, some movement way up around the Alaska area looks like. Nothing major going off the coast. This is all older movement there off the uh, coast of Victoria. And latest quake there shows a 2.2. Uh, that was from this morning as well. So not a whole lot going on up to the north. Most of the activity for now appears to be in the uh, in the uh, states and the uh, southern part down here, North American Plate, around the uh, Caribbean area. Definitely kind of kicking up there uh, pretty pretty uh, dramatically in a way. You know, just got to be uh, on guard here when we see this type of movement all around a, uh, a certain plate like this. And uh, with all that deep activity as well. Let's see, trimmer map, we covered that. Uh, let's check out the solar weather activity real quick here and we'll jump off here. Solarham.net is the website to check out. There's a couple different space agency uh sites to check out but I kind of like to look at these guys um, these guys kind of give out the 
flare potential, 60% chance of a C flare. And um, it kinda, it's kind of gone down a little bit. Uh, we were at a 5% chance last night for an X flare. That has since gone down to 1%. A little bit of storming possible over the next three nights here with the uh, geomagnetic forecast, uh, probably from the uh, coronal holes. Uh, coronal hole, I should say, that was facing us. I'm sure we're getting into that wind stream here pretty soon. And some sunspot activity growing up over the limb, the uh, far side. We'll see what that looks like as it turns into view. The eyeballs over here, 2954 and 2955, are kind of scooting away, but they're still still kind of visible there. A little creepy. And uh, some uh, uh, really ramping up here of sunspot activity uh, on this side of the sun right now. So uh, let's see what that has for us in the coming days. 2960 back there, kind of rotating in the view. And uh, we'll see how active this thing gets as far as the uh, solar flare activity goes as we get into the uh, new solar cycle and the maximum coming up here in a couple years. Uh, let's see what else. We, <clears throat> what else do we have here? I think that's about it, folks. Um, let me check the volcanoes of Hawaii real quick, see if anything's uh, uh, new on the updates. This was put out uh, this morning. Kilauea Volcano, HVO is issuing daily status reports uh, of the eruptive activity at Kilauea to provide information. Uh, let's see. The summit eruption within the uh, crater has remained nearly constant. Looks like this morning, based on previous observations, lava will likely be on the surface of the active lake, lava lake this evening. So it uh, looks like some uh, back to being... Back to being uh, eventful, as far as K Kilauea Volcano goes, it's been uh, been pausing, it's been erupting, it's been pausing, it's been erupting, and it kind of just looks like it's uh, back at uh, back at being active for now. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I'll check out Mauna Kea while I'm up here. And see, since we have that earthquake activity up there, I don't believe anything's really. Uh, there's that uh, little earthquake at uh, 2.3. Looks green in the uh, Mauna Kea department. Uh, the rest of the uh, Hawaii area it was all earthquake activity over the last, uh, I, guess, I can't remember, last week or so, it looks like. And uh, things are kind of uh, just, just about the same. Look at that massive swarm down there. That's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Of course, that, that's... Uh, aftershock sequences from a pretty big earthquake uh, a while back can't remember the exact year but uh, kind of a cool little uh, article put out there we'll cover that again in another video but I would just want to jump off here and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening here with Missy Mimi's and uh, enjoy the fresh cool air while we got it for now here in California like I say it rained a little bit uh, today I think we picked up almost three tenths of an inch of rain uh, from this uh, little low pressure system that came over which is uh, very uh, welcome here in California where we're just super super dry yeah look at all that deep activity up here on the globe Puerto Rico area South America uh, South America region the Peru Chile Trench definitely uh, getting in on quite a bit of deep activity over here so we'll uh, we'll see what's in store folks have a good night Stay safe, and uh, hopefully those bells, at least they're muted here on my end, hopefully those bells didn't come up uh, by themselves again. Have a good night, folks. Stay safe. Peace out.